so we are discussing about uh, regression analysis a very important aspect in mathematics let us start with the meaning the dictionary meaning of uh, regression is stepping back or going back so how you can get the relationship between multiple variables i'm not saying two there can be multiple variables if i say that the population is increasing can you can you decide or can you predict that the popu population will give rise to pollution is it possible to find out this regression analysis is a way to attempt to predict it is a mechanism to predict and forecast this is where regression finds its importance in various field of science and mathematics so why it is important it is important in three ways first is you have certain dependent variable you have certain independent variable so you can find out or predict or estimate the dependent variable values from the independent variables then it is not just limited to two or more variable it two variable it can be extended to more than two variable which we call as multiple regression then as we just uh, indicated that the nature of relationship between two or more variable what the nature is that if this goes straight the other value is also going straight or it is going this way or this way or opposite way we'll see about these in, by taking certain example but what why we are actually learning it why we require it to know because in business or in business regression is very important because regression is used heavily in this regime why say you are a businessman or businesswoman you want to put money you want to think about the profits how much you are going to produce what consumption is uh, you know the consumer are going to consume the investment the prices everything you need to because you are putting your money hard earned money you need to think that what is going on with that and for that you need some estimations you need to know that if i do this what i am going to get that is how regression helps you as a business person not only this is restricted to business you can use this uh, regression in sociological study economic planning uh, you can project the population the birth rates the government can make plans so there are so many uh, fields where this the regression can be applied so there are certain methods of uh, dealing with the regression first is graphically you can just use the free hand curve or least squares algebraically you can use least square deviation from arithmetic mean and deviation from uh, assume mean so these three we are going to see let us take uh, first before going into the actual example what exactly means this algebraic method first is the least square method so the regression equation is like this x is equal to a plus b y y is here the independent variable why because you can place any value here this is up to you but x is totally dependent on a b and y actually it is dependent on y because a and b are constants so y is the independent variable but x is a dependent variable but if you say i want to find out how y varies when x values are given for that you have the regression regression equation of y on x so here the dependent variable becomes y and the independent variable becomes x so we'll use certain um, expression because we also need to know the a and b x and y of course is given to you because that is the data but a and b this a and b is going to be the values which are which are being uh, computed estimated from x and y the actual data will give you a and b this is the beauty of regression you are not going to calculate any you, are, you don't um, have any tables or some graph nothing you have x and y the variables the values the data you have in front of you and by that value those values you are going to find this a and b so this is the these are the expressions we are going which we are going to use in the least square method first is sigma x is equal to n a plus b sigma y 
sigma y is equal to n a plus b sigma x, sigma x y is equal to a sigma x b sigma y square, and sigma x y is equal to a sigma x b sigma x square. And uh, please understand that if you want to find out two this a and b value, you need two equations, uh, minimum two equations to solve it. So let us start with an example, and we'll use the least square here. X are these value, y are these value. We are going to use this value for next two uh, coming methods also. So let us start. X x is three two seven four eight. Y is 6, 1, 8, 5, 9. Just multiply X with Y. 3 into 6, 18. 2 into 1, 2. And likewise. Then just take square of X. 3, is, 3 square is 9. 7 square is 49. Say 8 square is 64. Now take Y square. 6 square, 36. 8 square, 64. Likewise. Now you add all these. Sigma, sigma means addition of the values. Let's add all these column values and you'll get sigma x, sigma y, sigma x y, sigma x square and sigma y square. Now, you have these expressions that I just indicated. Just place this value and you know that how to solve linear equation. This is the way of solving the linear equation and we are not interested in solving this. We are interested in values of a and b. So when you solve it, the value of a and b would be 0.66 and 1.07. Now, just place this value on the y is equal to a plus bx. A is this, b is this. Now you want me to find out the regression equation of x and y. The expression changes like this. So this will be sigma x is equal to na plus b sigma y. See the y previously y was here, x was there. We have changed it now. Sigma x y is equal to a sigma y plus b sigma y square. And we have already computed these values. We have already got these values from the table. Let us see. We already computed. So we don't have to worry about the y or x or x or y. So we just need to compute this a and b for this x and y. a is 0 0.49, b is 0 0.74 by solving these two equations. And this is our equation of regression x or y. Right? I hope you got the idea. Now we'll turn our attention to the deviation from the arithmetic mean method. So now, why this method? First of all, this question should come into your mind. See, as we have seen these values, these are quite uh, simple values, but when the value will increase, this computation is quite, quite heavy. x square, y square, x, y is quite heavy. So what we are going to do? We'll use the arithmetic method. So just to uh, reduce the task or the cumbersomeness, let us see, we have regression equation of x and y. The new equation for this method is x minus x bar which is equal to b x y y minus y bar while the regression equation of y on x is y minus y bar b x y x minus x bar. This b x y and b y x these are the regression coefficient and b x y can be computed by sigma x y by sigma y square b y x by sigma x by sigma x square. Let us uh, take the same data and apply this method x and y let us find out the x bar. What is this x bar? This is the mean. Just add these and divide it by the number of values. So 24, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. Okay. So you'll get some x bar, you'll get some y bar and just find out this x minus x bar. 3 minus uh, minus of 1.8. Like this. Y minus y bar. Like this. So these are the values x minus x bar, y minus y bar. Now you have to square not these values. What do you square this? You square these. We have to square now these values. So now square these values. This is y square. And now multiply x into y. So you get this value. You just multiply these two. You don't have to worry about this now because we have already found find out or found out these two columns which are quite easy to compute. So now sigma x, you have to add these sigma y, sigma x, and sigma y, sigma x square, sigma y square, sigma x y, and x, these are x, capital X, capital Y, these are small x, small y. Just place in this equation x minus x bar is equal to bxy y minus y bar. So b by x y you'll get. Just place in this equation and you'll get exactly the same equation as we achieved in the first least square method. Y on x, same stuff, same formula. Just place the value and y is equal to 1.07x plus 0 
Now, we have just observed that the both the regression equations are same as we have used in the first method, that is the direct method. Let us come to the third method, that is, that is the deviation from assumed mean method. Why this? Again, we want this uh, calculation to be reduced somewhat more. First method is this, first intention is this. And second is, the actual mean of x and y, they are coming in fraction. We don't want to deal with the fraction. So, we assume by our, ourselves. We assume the mean by ourselves. So, the regression equation of x and y is now x minus x bar, bx, y, y minus x bar. This x, y is subscript. And the regression equation of y on x is y minus y bar, which is b, y, x, x minus x bar. Now, this b, x, y and b, y, x will be given like this. n into sigma dx, dy. You will find out shortly what dx, dy means. Sigma dx, sigma dy n into sigma dy square minus sigma dy square. This is dy whole square. Again, dx whole square. So that will be n sigma dx dy minus sigma dx dx sigma dy. And uh, we will just solve this by assuming the mean. So this is the data of x, y. We assume the mean. We You can assume any mean. This is There is no criteria. This is only by practice. And this is only by the vision of the data. You can observe the data and then you can find out, okay, let me take the assumed mean as 7. Let us take this y. I have seen the data. Let us let me take the mean as 6. Now, x and y you have seen. Let us take x minus 7. Means 3 minus 7. 2 minus 7. So, these are the values. Then y minus 6. 6 minus 6. 0. Say 5 minus 6. That is minus 1. Now, you have to square this and this is dx squared. You have to square this. This is dy squared. Now you have to multiply this dx dy. This one and this one. Just add them. And now you observe that this value has become so less that the computation becomes very easy. And we don't have to worry about the fractional value also. Now just place the value as I just suggested in the equation. And you get bxy and byx. And just place the value. This is the regression of x and y. This is the regression of y on x. So the same equation has come up. So we have observed that the regression equation are same for direct method, that is the least square method, the arithmetic mean, and now the assumed mean method. So we have seen the regression analysis. It is very important. We have seen the three method. Now by this discussion, you are aware that how important this regression analysis is. Thank you so much. All the best. Take care.